New COVID strain is the most transmissible yet, WHO says. Here's a summary of the article. What we know, public health officials have detected the strain in 29 countries, but it could be circulating in many more, Van Kerkhove said. The WHO doesn't yet know whether XBB.1. Death rates were about seven times higher at this time last year, and hospitalizations were almost three times as high. Both categories have been lower at various points in the pandemic and hospitalizations in New England, where XBB.1. Van Kerkhove said the increase in hospitalizations in the Northeast cannot be attributed yet to XBB.1. What's next? Jar warned that Americans' immunity against XBB.1. COVID tests and antiviral pills Paxlovid and Molnupiravir should work just fine based on what we know, Jar tweeted. This post received a score of 9,500, with an up-vote ratio of 86%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Can you not mutate for five minutes? Homer Simpson, most transmissible so far. Wouldn't every new strain of note have to have some sort of competitive advantage over the previous ones? Otherwise it wouldn't be a threat and wouldn't be of note. I assume that every new strain we care about will be more transmissible than the last. Or perhaps more resistant to vaccines or something. Not necessarily, if by strain of note, you mean a designation like the WHO's variant of concern. We could actually see a less infectious but more lethal strain on that list, provided it was deadly enough to rack up a body count. Shit gonna be like iPhones, a new model every year. 2030. The COVID Pro Max Ultra 5G. Every time I hear Pro Max somewhere, it sounds like some male enhancement pill. I bet whoever named this at Apple is secretly laughing about it constantly. It's a shame they haven't done a Max iPad yet. I've been thinking about that for the last 10 years, at least, and slightly disappointed every year Apple doesn't come out W1. Feels like the Bachelorette where each finale is the most dramatic finale Bachelor Nation has ever seen? I just don't think he's here for the right reasons. I'm sure we are already at the point this is something we'll always have now and new strains will just come out yearly. I sat on a board meeting of a clinic during the initial news of COVID happening in China and one of the doctors who specialized in disease said that this would end up like the flu where every year it mutates and every year we get a shot. Back in 2020, Dr. Fauci was going on TV and saying that infection with COVID is inevitable, it's not a matter of if you get it, but when. The mitigation techniques were just to slow it down, so hospitals weren't getting overloaded. It was also buying us time for vaccines and antiviral treatments to become available. My wife got old COVID back at the beginning, was sick for a month and never really fully recovered, and is still kind of fucked up to this day. I dodged it till Omicron when I had multiple vaccines in me, and was mildly sick for like one day with no lasting effects. That whole buying time for better treatments thing was big time worth it if you ask me. What's wrong with your wife? Is she getting better at all? Not op, but she probably has long COVID. Given COVID does so many weird things, some people never really recover and get a secondary huge list of terrible awful things. The Kraken strain went to a family gathering on Sunday. One girl had it with zero outward symptoms, no coughing. Five people tested positive so far. A couple of them were watching the NFL games in another room and had almost no contact with her. Crazy transmissible. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.